Dave Defeat here at the Lamex just to give us your overall assessment of this afternoon. We're obviously disappointed to um, to lose. Um, you don't want to sound like a broken record, but it re-emphasises the the ruthlessness and the difference between teams at this level, um, regardless of where you are in the in the league positionally um, and what you need to do in order to to win games. Um, I thought we started the game really brightly. We wanted to, we want. I think we went away from us a little bit the last few weeks, um, and I wanted to have more control in the game. I certainly thought we had that. We had some opportunities um, where, if we're being really critical, we should score. Um, we make a mistake, um, and ultimately you look at one bit of quality in terms of the finish and we're a goal behind. I thought we reacted to that well. The other chances that they had were of our own making in terms of throw-ins over that far side, um, but we end up with, with a goal behind at half time through one bit of one bit of quality, um, and the game's been pretty even, um, pretty even away from that. Some really positive aspects. We spoke about throw-ins at half time, and then obviously not so much game plan goes out the window, but it's a horrendous start to the second half. What you, what you then need is some characters and some resilience, um, and. Although we created opportunities and had easier chances to score than the goals they scored, and I can sit here and say, "Oh, but we should have scored." And I, I, I want more from us. I want us to in in adversity. We need to show more resilience than than, than what we did, and more urgency, um, and more people take responsibility. I think if I'm being critical, too many advocated responsibility and pass the ball off rather than take the um, take the ball by the horns themselves and really go and say. I'm the man to win the game for us here. Give me the ball. I want to shoot. I want to try and score. I want to try and create something. I think too many didn't do that, and that's the that's the disappointing part. You mentioned there the goal at the start of the second half. Obviously, first half plenty of chances. Uh, what was the message at half time? And obviously, I imagine obviously that message it becomes a whole lot more disappointing. Obviously, going out thirty seconds and concede another. The me- listen, the message. Um, We'd spoken about throw-ins. I think two of their chances came from throw-ins. Luke Henry taking them on the right-hand side, especially in the conditions. It doesn't become about how far you can throw it, and, and it, it becomes about throwing it to somebody in your team. And if you need to play short and throw feet, feet and back, then then so be it. We didn't. We didn't. We threw it down the line. We didn't win a, a first ball. It was too easy on a second ball. We hadn't guarded against what we're doing, so we were still open. Um, the eleven ends up free. It's a poor goal in terms of two centre backs uh, or two of the three centre backs should not get done with that ball uh, and gives you a mountain to climb at the, at the start of the second half. You've then got to, I suppose, at some point. Um, go a bit risky in terms of how you go about things we couldn't have got many more attacking players on the pitch and we had opportunities we've had easy opportunities to score certainly with Dales' header Will's chance than, than what they've had and ultimately the ball hasn't ended up in the goal um, and that's a concern in the fact we're not sticking it away less of a concern in the fact we're still creating chances but people need to step up and take responsibility otherwise um, this is going to be a similar interview as we're doing every week you talk about bringing attackers on the pitch uh, Cullen and Goodwin were the first two to come on what did you make of their impact seemed like the first five ten minutes when they came on it, it almost lifted the side a little bit yeah I think it did uh, like I say I spoke at half time um, I, th- I think the the first half two centre four was not good enough so it's easy to take the, the, the plaudits and the packs on the back when you've um, when you've scored a goal. They, they weren't a goal threat or Moles had a half a chance from the edge of the box. Um, needed more from them, um, which we didn't get. So probably a little bit fortunate we didn't make the changes at half time. You want to keep people benefit benefit of the doubt. Like I say I thought when we did make the changes we looked more um, more threatening. But again, in saying that it comes down to people taking chances and one of the subs coming on and saying well I've got on and scored and I've, I've got on and created this We've, we're not at that we're not at that point um, so there will be like I say opportunities on Tuesday night so for people to, to, to grab them um, and if they do then they'll they'll start the game on Saturday I think that's as as, as brutally honest as I, I can be around that We've spoken about obviously in a few of the away games but apart from putting the ball obviously in the back of the net what, what do we need to do now as, as a team as a squad to, to really come together and pick up points on the road I'm not again I'm not a um, 
for me it's about not about being on the road um, you can look at it and say our home record we've lost one out of 21 or whatever it is but whether we've been on the road or not on the road when we've scored the first goal I don't think we've lost in I'd suggest close to 30 games um, be at home or to be away from home when we've conceded the first goal I can only remember Yeovil at home when we've gone on to win a game um, which says that we need to react better in adversity or we need to score the first goal more often than not that's not going to happen all the time so we need to show more resilience as individuals if we do concede the, concede a goal which inevitably you're going to do at some point um, and with that you need to take responsibility from being critical too many people advocated responsibility and wanted to pass the ball to other people and there's only really if I'm being honest there's only really Fev that through the course says give me the ball give me the ball constantly wants to make us play well in the position he plays unfortunately that's not going to have a huge impact he'll pick the passes but people need to get themselves into areas where he can pick the passes in order for them to for them to score and saying that we did create opportunities we did get ourselves into areas and it then becomes a responsibility to stick the ball in the goal um, and like I said previously we, we've had at least two chances there that are better than the two chances that they've taken so from our perspective the keeper's not made two worldly saves the two really poor misses and they're two good finishes um, is that the difference between what they've got at the top end of the pitch to what we've got um, I've not known many non-goal scoring centre forwards that have or central attacking players or attacking players that have had good careers so the, the, at some point the responsibility and the pressure is going to fall right on you and we're at that point now just finally, you mentioned Tuesday night opportunity for change. Is it real opportunity for some players to really, you know, take take their opportunity and show you that they want to be in this side? Might be the only opportunity to get. So, all of the or most of the forward players that didn't play to play today will start the game, um, and the likelihood is, and I've, I've said the same to them that if they go into that game and they produce a performance physically that we want and technically tactically what they want what we want and they put the ball in the goal or play a, a, a part in us being successful on Tuesday then there's a good chance that they'll start on Saturday again that then becomes a um, I suppose amongst the squad a challenge to say I'm not happy that I'm not in there well if you're not in there do better um, because people have had plenty of opp opportunities um, and I'm not one for just giving them up without um, people not just earning them but making sure they take them and like I say we're at a point now where it, uh, the crux of it is we need to start sticking the ball in the back of the back of the net um, more frequently with the players we've got on the pitch it becomes a collective responsibility don't get me wrong in terms of what we're creating and defenders will need to do more from, from set pieces and score their fair share but the, the, the main focus falls on the people that are at the top end of the pitch because they're in or should be in that area more often than more often than not and more often than the other people. Um, so there then becomes, like I say, a, a pressure to um, to put the ball in, in the goal. Hopefully that'll be the, the case on Tuesday and we'll have an easy decision to make for the weekend. Dave, thanks very much. Cheers, thank you.